Hey, what's up everyone? 2015 Sienna, I'm doing the rear seat belt buckle. It's basically um, this part right here with the red button. When I go to put my seat belt in, it doesn't go in, it doesn't click in. Um, this part's fine, and I would check your you know, your seat belt itself. But um, this, these are usually go bad. These are like the weakest part of the whole system. This behind this panel, let's go ahead and uh, come in the back here. And we're going to recline this seat a little bit. And uh, when it's down like this, there's two screws that hold this panel on. And I'm going to uh, put one right, get this screw out right here. Is what I meant to say. Okay, we got that. Keep it. Don't lose it. And then there's one on the back right here. Go ahead and get that one out. Now this panel, you kind of got to lift it up and out. It's kind of weird to get off, but don't just rip it off. You'll break the tabs. There's like this... Um, there's like this tab part that that goes over it. It's kind of strange, but just be be patient when you're taking this off so you don't break it. Okay, we'll get that off, and then here's our belt buckle. Uh, just a 14 millimeter bolt that holds it on. Just one bolt. Go ahead and get that off. There's no um, airbag wires connected to it or nothing, so that's good. That makes it easy. So go ahead and get this out. The bolt doesn't come out. Well, I mean, it could if you really wanted it to, but it just it just goes, it stays with it. And then your new one, I got mine from the dealer. Here's the part number. And, um, yeah, it just comes with a bolt with a washer on it. And this is the right rear seat. So it goes back on. There's a little notch here. Just put it behind uh, this notch. That's about right there. And then when you tighten it down, it'll kind of... Uh, It'll kind of move a little bit, but that's just so the seat belt can move up and down for when you have the receipt reclined and when you're actually using the belt. Um, so I got it tightened down. It's good. Um, go ahead and put this back on. The way I did it is I kind of slid it in first in this little slot part, and then I lifted it over, lifted it up and over the tab. It's hard to explain. This is a weird shape panel, but you'll get it in. Just be patient with it. And, and keep trying different things get your screws back in and uh, that's it guys so there you go you, as you can see that's how it moves and now it connects good everything's working now it's safe all right thanks for watching